Hello everyone and welcome to 1.8 Snapshots in World Automation. I never thought I'd see it either, me in a snapshot, or the vanilla textures. Um, I'm needing to play in the vanilla textures at the moment because this fax that I normally use is out of date as of just now and I've not the one I've got at the moment installed and I do not want to install another one. But as you can see the perimeter is done to the best of my knowledge to you know, to the standard in which I have decided to do it. You know, it's very far, very big, very big indeed. But anyway, but next, sorry for not uploading. <laughs> that was kind of weird, I went from one thing to another quickly. Anyway, so, from, as far as fax is concerned, it'll be fixed by the next episode. I'll have installed it and everything. But it's just really cool, this snapshot. I mean, I built this contraption here. Basically what happens is when the witch comes, you lava them, and then they're on fire. You do this, which is a timer system as you can see, it's nothing too madly complicated. And then that'll kill them. But before when I've done away with iron golems. Oh, I've got an open space, that's where everyone's been coming from. I get mobs in here so much and I do not know why. But I've fitted a switch there. That will take all the mobs down there. And take them down into here slowly. But they will take them. I can... Uh, this is for normal monsters. Is he injured? Yeah, they are. They must be injured. Anyway, but I left it running for a bit. Just full speed. You know, the stuff in it. I have lost some stuff. There was a creeper instant down here. That's what I got. No, that wasn't found. That's my bowl. <laughs> um, yeah, I have lots of stuff. Lots of instant health potions which you can get from witches when you use a fire technique. And you kill them quickly after been having set fire to. I mean, crushing them is one of the only methods, I, in my opinion, because... I mean, I have tried everything with her. I've tried inst instant damage works, you know, like harming potions, but that, that's not for anyone. It takes something like 40 of them. That was conducted in a test world. It's about that. It's like about 20 or so. I'm not, it's not literally 40. Don't take me seriously on the things that I see. They look different. Or do they? Right, so also today, since we're on 1.8, I want to see what's going on with the gold farm. So I'm going to go down this long track. I'm going to talk a bit about um, some a comment I got and how I'm going to improve on it. It was the text that comes up on the screen when I make a caption, like, you know, it's normally a joke or something, but basically how it works is I use Windows Live Movie Maker. And if you've ever used that, you'll know it doesn't come down. Don't, you can't take the size smaller than a... can't make it last any longer than a certain time. But I can live with that, that's fine. So, um... I can live with that. I hope, hope the person left the comment did. So thanks for leaving the comment. That was the first comment, I think. And sorry I didn't get to it quickly. There was an issue with... Basically uploading that entire video was a bit of a shambles really, I couldn't get it to upload for ages. I keep end up getting them, it's funny. Yeah. Anyway, I have had a terrible accident where I died and lost lots of stuff, but I still have some stuff, which is what's important. But anyway, it was also the font of the text, I can change that in seconds. I can actually change that from the uploaded videos, which I'm not probably not going to do. Oh my god, we're actually going pretty fast. But, yeah, I'm not really going to change the time that it comes up in because I don't want to change my editing software because I'm quite comfortable with that for the moment and it's really good, it's good at rendering them. It takes a wee bit longer than some, but it's okay. So one of the other things also was to make it smaller. I can do that, I can do everything but make it shorter basically with the text. Um, also, if you don't want to see any more of these videos ever, please put it in the comments as well, because of in-person 
had people say don't make any more videos, I hate them. If we get an overwhelming, if I get an overwhelming, I don't know about Cammy, you'll probably continue. But if we get an overwhelming amount of complaints about our videos, we are going to probably stop because we don't do it to upset people. And we don't do it for like, we don't do it for the money, not that we're getting paid. We are, we do have a, we are with a network, but uh, in my opinion if we were doing it for the money, oh I hate it when this happens. This badly built villager thing. Every time this iron farm, every time I log out and log back in again, I get this. Now, if I was doing it for them, if we were doing it for the money though, which we really aren't, our multiplayer, it's literally the purpose of that is to make people laugh. And we hope, I hope we do. Oh my. Lots of iron. Getting rich again. Think how could I ever be poor? The amount of stuff I've got, like the amount of minecarts and things. But I get pretty poor in this let's play, I really do. I go through kind of stages, like I've got one stack of iron at the moment. I rely on this gold farm because I don't go caving much now. Because the diamond situation is pretty comfortable. Now I'm pretty comfortable in the way of diamonds, I think. I've got about three stacks or so of them. As far as iron's concerned, it's not really an issue, as you can see. I've got no more of it, it's just stuff. So I'm going to go up to the gold farm and I'll see you in a minute then. Okay, so I'm nearly up. But basically the point I was on before, before I got distracted, was um, people have been saying to me just in person more than anything else, because a lot of people I know in person watch my videos. Or, you know, watch the ones on Black Ace Gaming instead of the Black Ace Gamers, the older channel. Which I'm still probably going to do some stuff on, but nothing much. It needs, you know, more uploads, but I've uploaded plenty to that. So basically, people are saying I'm doing it for the money. Honestly, it, on my opinion, it will stick out like a sore thumb. It will stick out like a man dressed as a large donut in the street, dancing at the top of the street. If, um, that's the best I can come up with. If I was making, trying to do it for the money or Cammy was, because we would just upload this lot, like the same thing four times. Please work. Where are the iron golems? I put this protective barrier because I was having some terrible incidents with ghasts. Okay. Something happened. Oh, I need to stop with falling off of this. And then I've got kind of like, it's like, I make wee kind of jump ups here and things, but I'm not really getting anything in here, unfortunately. Oh, got a ghast. Two ghasts and lots of pigmen. Okay, so this is a farm in full flow. This is it working reasonably well and I uh, my frame rate has dropped so much. <laughs> Yeah, so that's just, that's maybe eight chunks away, but oh, I don't know what's happened. Something's gone wrong here. I don't know, I might have minecarts going like flying around that. You know. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I noticed and you probably noticed I lost a good majority of my stuff. These two things, not that they're a lot of use to me, but They'll be fine. We'll be fine with them. It's not very go. That's all. Took a long time to collect. This is not first class armor. I don't like to wear like a full armor bar because I feel it ruins it. Oh no. Right, I'll be back. I'm not gonna film anything else here. Okay, take three with Ender Pearls. <laughs> what could go wrong? It's what I do when I come up here, go into peaceful. Now go back onto hard so that all the monsters from other bits of the map, they despawn. I only get mobs from here. As you can see, I also turn my render distance up which seems to help so I can see them. It does slow me down a bit but I don't do much moving up here. But anyway, before I died I was discussing summer holidays. I will not have a lot of free time after that, after then. So uploads will be a bit more scarce maybe. One or two a week instead of five or six, instead of four or five. 
But I will still be uploading though, so you can look forward to that. And I'm sure you will. So, uh, yeah, Skull Farm's kind of gone mad. <laughs> I've kind of lost. What am I doing on 12 chunks? I can run it on 10 up here. Oh, yes, yeah, so a ghast has been murdered. Don't know why I'm saying yes, it's a horrible thing. I just think, isn't it in 1.8 that everything's meant to attack these zombies? Zombie villagers? Sorry, the, the nether pigs, the zombie pigmen, that's what they're called. And there are zombies spawning, which is very, very cool. Very few, but still some. But as you can see, I've got kind of nut spawn rates here. A couple more golems would not harm this. Oh. And what the ender pearls are for, I just got them from murdering uh, Enderman. You can believe it or not, I'm running at 8 frames per second here, that's not allowed. Okay, so basically what's been happening is I've been killing Enderman with looting 3 and you can get up to about 7 or 8 ender pearls with it. Well, Cammy managed to get 8 when we went off camera, which is amazing. So the ender pearls are for that, pretty much. When the minecarts just can't keep up or I want a couple of levels. I think I'm forgetting how underdressed I am here. Get him. Oh no. Okay, so in my panic I managed to hit the button that stops Fraps recording. So, oops, pretty much. But this is like an automatic XP farm where I don't have to do anything. Which I kind of like, I must say. It's my my kind of XP farming. It gets you like 20 levels after like two or so minutes up here. And a ton of gold. And gas tears, which are really ingots. Didn't know I had looting. basically how it works is if you didn't watch the gold farm video which I suggest you do if you want to build this design it's quite well known through the community Minecraft even built it a much bigger setup than Kami or I's server hmm. our black ice server if a gas spawns in here just now I am toast because I nearly died the last time a gas spawned uh, when I jumped him and propelled him those two gas here I wish you could put all your XP in like a bottle, like a liquid XP mod, because I die too much. I do. I know that. In Minecraft I am um, a little bit clumsier than real life. Like, I'm not clumsy in real life, I'm really clumsy in Minecraft though, it's like, Ugh. I mean I've died three times this episode. Which is kinda mad. So, uh, yeah. This farm also supplies you with food. It's one of my uh, most efficient chicken farms that I've ever built. That was a joke in frame and your viewers who haven't seen uh, my multiplayer, which I suggest you do because it's very, very good. Is there nothing in that or something? No, there's plenty in that. Oh, what happened? That hopefully all went down the hopper. Where did all that stuff go? I'll be in the next minecart, won't it? Oh, there's my bow that I lost forever. It's my axe. My inventory is needing emptied so much. Long lost axe. Right, you need your dealings with. If I go down and he's there, there's going to be a problem. But I acknowledge that. So it's doing quite well. This is what it's got me so far. It seems to get me cobblestone sometimes. And clay, worryingly. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> it delivers all the stuff that I've lost. Okay, let's see if one of them's coming in. I don't need any more to be coming in. 
I don't want them all going the way they are, like one after another. I want it to be like when one of them's halfway along, the other one can go type of thing. Which I don't want to really set up because it doesn't seem like an easy thing to set up. But I've got an idea how to do it. And I'm going to share it with you on camera in case you're building one of these. Why am I? Why am I ender chesting these even? When I specifically brought some chests with me. It's called Black Shoes Chest Work. It's never tidy or good. It's just junk everywhere, pretty much. Nothing. That's not, not on. And then turn the render distance up. Nope. Oh, no. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've got a very sore throat. You might be able to hear it if I have throughout the video, but it's suddenly worsened, so wish me luck. And I'll try not to cough. Although it's really, really, really tempting. So I'm going to finish off the episode with an enchantment. Which I know everybody likes on my... on a pair of boots I'm actually going to conduct this enchantment on. So I'm also going to check um, how much gold I've got. And see if anything's happened really. See if anything else important's happened down at the base. Right. Oh no, it was full. Probably is every time that happens I lose a lot of stuff. So I've pretty much been the hopper minecart for the moment. It's a good pick. It's actually not a bad sword but it is golden so I've got, um, it's got no business doing anything to do with me. I knocked a pigman down here and I think he lived. I don't know but he was not happy. Yeah. It's looking good. Also the cross threading performance boost which 1.8 offers has helped me supremely. I can in certain areas don't get me wrong, go away gas. That's just great. I just love gas. Doesn't everybody else? Okay. So this can take me back to main base I think. I hope. I really hope. Is there gas down here as well? I will be with a crater that size. The main problem we had as far as nether on the, our server is pretty much the fact that we spawned in a little room and had to tunnel our way out. So we had to tunnel about 300 blocks out of it. That is nerfed. I was literally there five minutes ago. In fact, no, I'm not storing it that way, I'm, I'm not saving up for a beacon. Kind of compiling it on. Okay, diamonds please. Which villager? Yep, he gives me iron shoes, diamond shoes. It's a good villager. Good, good villager indeed. So you must stack of emeralds then. I always try and carry a good stack of emeralds. Because I never know when I'll need them. What's this final trade actually? Yeah, that's fine. I'll, t I'll take the final trade as well. I'm going to end up trading here for like 10 minutes. I promised to myself I would do extremely little trading on camera. Alright, new things have been unlocked for these ultra villagers of 1.8. Which they are. It's not sarcasm. It's really true. There is some reasonably good trades now that was never there before. This been turned to cleric. He's been turned to a weaponsmith. When really he was just a really oh my. That is good. You can do some good things with that. Right, what's this guy what's this cleric saying? Silly efficiency iron? Okay. Right, I'm gonna leave that now. I think it's this weight. Yep, that's his last trade. So, they're going to be enchanted in front of you here. See what I get. Hope I get lucky. If I get unbreaking three on these, 
Oh, okay. I don't know if I've mentioned how absolutely vital these are. Oh, I need lapis. So I do. That was clever. Of course I need lapis. 